Hello, today we're going to be finding out about vehicles on our roads. Now vehicles are things which carry people like us or goods. Goods are things like uh, toys, food, things that you build with. And what I'd like you to do is tell your grown up all the different kinds of vehicles that you can think of. Most of them have wheels, not all of them. Have a go. I'm going to tell you all the ones that I can think of. Well, I come to school in a car and I also come to school on a bike. Uh, you have motorbikes as well. Uh, vans, lorries, ambulances, buses, uh, fire engines, boats, things like that. So what we're going to do today is make a tally chart of the vehicles that we see on our road, a road near us, and we're going to find out which is the most common vehicle on the road. So which is the biggest number of vehicles that we see? And I'm going to show you how to make a tally chart now. First of all, I need to make my tally chart and I'm going to draw it like this. What shape am I making? You tell your grown up. How many sides have we got? One, two, three. Got a squeaky chair here. Four. What shape is it? It's a rectangle. Two of the sides are shorter, two of the sides are longer. Now, at the top, I'm going to leave a space for me to write names of the vehicles and I'm going to draw, well I'm going to have five different categories, five different groups of vehicles. So I'm going to draw some lines down here for different groups. Now. Can you tell your grown-up what different vehicles you might find on a road? And a vehicle is something that's used for transporting people or goods, such as a car, a bus, things like that. Well, for my tally chart, I'm going to go for, the first one will be a bus. To make it easiest for me to remember, I'm going to write the word and I'm going to draw a picture as well. So sound out bus for me. What's the first sound? B. What's the next sound? Uh. And what's the last sound in bus? S. Okay. Right, bus. B. Uh. S. Bus. Bus has only got one S at the end of it. Car. Can you sound out car for me? Two sounds in car. K. And what's the last sound in car? I've just got my sound mat to help me. Car, k, r, car, okay. K, where's the r sound? Moon, book, card, fork. Card, isn't it? A and the r, so I'm gonna write that there. Bus, car, let me think of another one. Bike. Can you sound out bike for me? Three sounds in bike. What's the first sound in bike, bin, bat? Is it s, b, e? B. Okay. Can I write my b sound? Where's my b sound? Is it this one or this one? Dinosaur or bird? Bird, isn't it? What's my next sound? Bike, b. I. Okay, where's the I sound? Rain, leak, night, goat. Night. I, a G, and the H. Bike. What's the last sound in bike? Now, which k comes at the end of the word? This one, this one, or this one? It's a C and the K. Two letters make one sound. 
Now let me check it. But I can bike. First car, bike. I'm going to have a van. Okay, sound out van for me. What's the first sound in van, volcano, vat? V. Okay. What's next sound? Van, va, v. A. And what's the last sound in van? Mm. Can you write that down. Now I'm going to check it. V, a, n, van. Now there are different other kinds of vehicles. You could have a lorry, you could have a motorbike, you could have a scooter. So to cover all of those, I'm going to have another category, other, which means it's not a bus, it's not a car, it's not a bike, it's not a van, it's something else, other. And that's how you write other. Now I'm going to draw my picture of my bus. Just a quick one, doesn't have to be perfect. Bus has got lots of windows, hasn't it? Okay, car. This is going to be my car. Do you like my car? Bike. Something to sit on there. Van. Okay, van is smaller than a bus, and it's more rectangle. It's a rectangle shape, two wheels, one window. Okay, that's my van. Other I'm going to leave because it could be anything else. Now I've shown you how to make the tally chart. I want you to make one like this with your grown up. All grown ups, you can print off one of the ones that I've posted on tapestry. I'm going to go to my local high street and I'm going to watch the vehicles coming towards me on my side of the road for about two minutes and I'm going to record it on the tally chart. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So every time a vehicle goes past you on your side of the road, you're going to put a mark or a line in the right box. So if you have a car driving past you, where do you put your line? Here, 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 or here, or here? Under car. Next you have a cyclist cycling by. A bike. Where do you put it? Here. Then you have a motorbike coming by. Have we got motorbike? Bus, car, bike, van, other. So that would go under other. Then you have a fire engine. Can you see fire engine? Bus, car, bike, van, other. So we go under other. And then you have another car. Car coming past. So where do you put a mark? Here we've had two cars go past now. A van. Where's the van? Van starts with a v sound. Here. Bus. Ambulance. Can you see ambulance? Bus, car, bike, van, other. Where does it go? Other. Have a go. Now I've just come back from my trip to the high street and I've got my tally chart, not going to show you yet, okay? Because what I did was I filmed it and I filmed myself recording the vehicles going past me on my side of the road. And I also filmed me doing the tally chart. I'm going to show you that. And with the tally chart that you've made with your grown up, I want you to try and record all the vehicles that went past me on that film. And then at the end of it, we'll have a look at our tally charts and see how we did, okay? Are you ready? Let's go.
Okay, let's see. So I'm checking for vehicles which are coming this way on my side of the road. What can you see? A car. What's that coming up now? A bus. We've got a bus, a van, another car, a car, a car. What's that coming up? A bike, a van, a car, another car. What's that? Where do I put that? A car. A car? A car. What's that? A van. Another car. Another car. Another car. Another car. There's another bus, but it's not going our way. Another car. Now that's a van, where do I put it? Here, 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 or here? There's a van. Van, a car. Oh, a motorbike. Do I have motorbike? No, I'm going to put other. Another motorbike, a bicycle, and a car, and another car. So let's have a look at my tally chart. The first thing I'm going to do is count all the different marks that I put down. Each mark, remember, shows one vehicle going past. So how many buses did I see? Can you count the marks or lines? One, so I'm gonna put that at the bottom. One bus went past. Wow, how many cars were there? Will you count them with me? I'm going to do it systematically, working from the top to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's a lot. If you're not sure how to write 17, use your number line. I'm going to get mine. 17, now remember 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm going to write that here. A one and a seven. How many bikes were there? Can you count? One, two. I'm going to write two. And can you do this on your tally chart as well? And what's this for Atten van? How many vans were there? Can you show me with your fingers? Let's count the lines. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to write four. And how many things were there? How many vehicles which were not buses, not cars, not bikes, not vans? So something else, other. Two. Now I'm going to put some questions down in writing right now and I want you to try and work out the answers to them with your grown-ups, okay? So I'm going to put them down now and you can pause the video. So, which was the most common vehicle? Which vehicle did we see most of? Which was the biggest number of vehicles? Was it bus, car, bike, van, or other? The answer was car, because we had the most number of lines showing how many cars went past, and the biggest number is 17. That's the number that's furthest along our number line. My second question was, which was the least most common vehicle? What was the smallest number of vehicles that we saw? Was it bus, car, bike, van, or other? 
And the answer was the bus, because one is the smallest of all those numbers. And my last question was, how many bikes and vans were there altogether? Well, let's see. I've got bikes here and vans here, so I need to count all of the lines. So I could do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or I could do it by counting on. Which is the biggest number? Is it two or four? Four. So I get four in my head, and then I don't need to count those. And I count on from four. What's one more than four? Five, six. So either way, we get to six. So I'd like you to do one of two things now. I'd either like you to go to your local road or high street and make your own tally chart with your grown-up's help and answer some questions that your grown-up asks you about it, such as what was the most common vehicle, which was the biggest number of vehicles that you saw, or what was the least common, which was the smallest number of vehicles that you saw, or you could do some addition. Uh, how many buses and vans did you see all together? And then you could do a tapestry observation of you showing your tally chart and answering the questions. Or you can watch the other video that I've made and that's about two minutes long of vehicles going past my high street. A, links, a link to the video is on tapestry. Watch it, do a tally chart, and then at the end of it, answer the questions that I've put at the end of that video and do an observation on tapestry. So have fun and we'll look forward to seeing your tapestry observations. Bye bye.